This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. And this is Monster in My Podcast. And this is The Man of the Woods. There's a monster in my podcast. With those dashes between. Yes. So you can tell it's kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, oldie timey. Yes. You know, this is mythology based because it's Man of the Woods, not mm -hmm. Man of the Woods. Right. It's not Woodsman. Yeah. Uh, so this is just a forest spirit engaging with what I think is the least interesting part of Shadowrun, which is the shamanry. I, yeah, I think shaman Shadowrun's in, in uh, <laughs> uh, I think shamans in, uh, Shadow, <clears throat> I think shamans in Shadow Roms, uh, Shadow Romna one half, uh, is pretty, I think they're pretty cool. Okay. Uh, I don't, uh, cause like one, the spirits are actually really alien and weird mm -hmm. and we'll get to them more of them in this book. Like this, this book deals with them, but like, the a bunch of them are just like oh it's the coyote it's a trickster mm -hmm. but then there are a bunch of them that are more or less like eldritch beings like there's a lot of hinting in the fiction that you're actually like reaching out to some kind of weird other side okay when you do this shit um it's a little between the lines so i get it seeming lame initially right, um, right but i think it is a little bit more than it initially lets on yeah and th this is this hints at that a little bit too mm-hmm like they talk about it, this thing has like unknowable motivations right. and how you strike a bargain with it. Like it's essentially a devil. Mm -hmm. um, and there, there is kind of an oblique hinting that whenever you're doing spirit shit in, in shadow run, like you on your side, you think of it as this like religious thing. And on the other side of it, it is not that at all. Right. You know, which I think that, I think that's very cool. It was like a rite of feeding. Yeah. Yeah. And more, you know, and then they trick, uh, when we get to the toxic spirits and like bug spirits and stuff, mm -hmm. um, they literally trick you. Like they tempt you with power to make a way into this world and then, you know, invade the world. Like we, okay. I've talked about it uh, before as like a source book uh -huh. and it might be a good, um, like premium episode of this or like a bundle episode at some point. Eventually it would be to talk about, um, bug city. Okay. Cause it, it details, it's not exactly a monster manual. Like it's a, it's a module. Mm -hmm. But it details like a bunch of new monsters. Okay. And it's the Shadowrun story of like what happened in Chicago, which <laughs> is a really, really cool story. Like that whole city got taken over. Like it's this whole demilitarized zone with this wall surrounding it because it got taken over by bug spirits. Okay. Uh, so it's essentially like a gigantic ant colony, but the ants are eldritch beings and people still live there. Like you can use it as a setting. Nice. Uh, and just like the scary thing where you can't be above ground and stuff. It's a super cool book. Huh. Like bug city owns. Yeah. Um, yeah. So and, and and we'll we'll literally get to insect spirits eventually in this, I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, and that's just that that's just part of where my where my knowledge of this falls down. Like all the shaman stuff just seems to be like faux Native American spiritual things. And yeah. just I uh, you know, for, good. Absolutely. Yeah. Like that that would and that is obnoxious. Yeah. Or like not obnoxious, but it's just not super unique. Yeah. They they just put all of the uh uh secret kind of cool stuff between the lines. Right, right. With this. Right. Um yeah, so I like that this is uh this thing is this weird other being. Mm -hmm. You know, he's just a forest guy. Like if you look at him, and they even say like in the shadow talks, like he just looks like a shaman. Um, but they but they're not. Yeah, you know they're 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 kind of demons. Yeah, well, like if you if you look at them, um, in the astral plane, they just kind of appear to be like a shimmering, flickering humanoid form, mm -hmm. as opposed to you know being whatever you would look like normally. Like what like what would you normally look like in the astral plane? I think you. I think you look like a like a shimmering per, like version of yourself. Mm, okay. I think. Um, but they also they do things like that too, where like the if you remember the Will of the Wisp was a eldritch monstrosity. Yeah. In yeah. the astral plane, like they do a lot of hinting that the astral plane is actually Lovecraft shit. Yeah. Uh, in this, so I think I think that is the implication. Like, and this uh, this has a, a fun shadow talk where it's just this little short story again <laughs> um, of one of these things getting vengeance with a, a toxic land monster like a trash monster which i love those <laughs> things we'll get to those things later but a person a scary person made of garbage i think is the quote. <laughs> yeah but like somebody like just a, a a contract like a contract hit being put out on a shaman uh named uh, named many names um mm -hmm. i love the detail about many names like being dressed like a shaman but everything is top drawer stuff like yeah know, like like his uh his moccasins were ostrich skin and made by gucci yeah <laughs> and he like um, so yeah and, and many names just makes a deal with one of these guys to lead a trash monster assault on the corp yeah. that uh <laughs> yep yep that put out that, that on him. yeah yeah which is you know which is super cool like an adventure hook yeah kind of way um these things out of the the things that do hint at this cooler part of Shadowrun are these this, these guys are kind of bland mm -hmm. yeah i would agree like 
just kind of, you know, a, a forest spirit that represents the the will of the forest is a cliche that's not particularly interesting to me. Right, right. You know? And he just has, like, his powers are an assortment that would allow him to act like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, most of those, are, like, he has the emotion powers, and they're all, like, pretty negative and stuff, too. So, like, that leads into this guy being possibly kind of elderkey. Mm-hmm. You know, he, like, causes fear and confusion and uh, alienation. Um, I love one of the things I like about, excuse me, the short story part is that it shows like the accident power, which we talked about before, like in action, mm-hmm. like somebody tries to, uh, you know, shoot him and his gun like blows up in his hand yeah, and stuff because accident is an extremely cool power <laughs> in this game. Yeah. Like uh, the opposite of uh, Domino's power, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'm good, learning. Good, good job, Cole. Yay. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Yeah. You've arrived. Um, <laughs> you're my days of future son. Brought to you by our backers at patreon.com slash duckfeedtv. 